Well, welcome back, everybody. It's August, which means there's just a little time left for summer fun. Personally, I love a good roller coaster. It's the only socially acceptable place to strap yourself into a chair and scream with a group of strangers. <laughs> when I do it at Starbucks, they ask me to leave. <laughs> but just because school's out doesn't mean you can't learn new things. In fact, a roller coaster is a perfect classroom. They're so fast, they're so exciting. I think they keep you awake even while learning about something as dry as macroeconomics. And to test that theory, I invited Nobel Prize winning economist and the world's most distinguished koala, Paul Krugman, <laughs> to join me on the Nitro roller coaster at Six Flags Great Adventure. If that sounds like fun to you, then you're not Nobel Prize winning economist, <laughs> Paul Krugman. Okay, Paul Krugman, you're an expert in global economic theory. I'm an expert at shouting on roller coasters. All right. Are you ready to explain economics to me in two minutes in 4Gs? We'll see how it works. All right, let's hit it. How long has it been since you won a Nobel Prize? Seven years. Uh, so you're in a bit of a dry spell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Working on it. You might be a flash in the pan. Yeah, never know. So why should you help the economy during uh, a time of growth? Like, our economy right now, like this roller coaster, is slowly going up. There's no reason to believe it'll ever drop. Uh, funny about that. Things do tend to go wrong now and then. And Have you, you ever to... been on a roller coaster? Actually, no, never. This is the first time ever? Right. Okay. You're gonna love it. Okay, here's the big question for you. Why do you think that in times of recession, the government should favor stimulus over austerity. What's happening in a recession is that everybody is trying to cut spending. time. Yeah, but if you're a family and you spend more money than you have, that's bad. How can a government spend more money than it has? Do I know more about economics than Paul Krugman? I should be amazed. When you actually think about it, families do borrow. They borrow to buy a house. Okay. We're almost over. Just explain global macroeconomic theory. Should I buy gold? No. Is money good or money bad? Money good. Let's money print good. More, print much more of it. Print more money? <laughs> yeah. That brings you to the Weimar Republic, where people with wheelbarrows full of money used to buy bread. Actually, no. It just brings prosperity. Okay. So, bottom line, it seems like the economy is like a roller coaster in that it goes up, it goes down, and occasionally makes me want to puke. Yeah. Actually, me at the moment, kind of. Yes. Yeah. Do you think inflation can ever be good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. A little bit can be helpful. So you think it's a good thing that it's going to cost us $12 to buy a photo of us on this ride? No. Uh, I actually don't want a photo of us on this ride. Okay. Well, Paul Krugman, thank you so much for thank explaining uh, global macroeconomic theory to me. Um, now I never have to talk about it again. Oof. We'll be right back. Out, please.